my name is Victoria. I'm a social media contributor at Core and welcome to our YouTube channel. Now that we've covered what Web3 and blockchain technologies are, let's spend some time going over the different types of blockchains. There are three primary types, public, private and hybrid consortium. This lesson will break down each type and look at the different benefits and applications for each. Public blockchains are open, decentralized networks that anyone can join and participate in. The three key distinguishing features of public blockchains are that they are permissionless, transparent and secure. Public blockchains are permissionless, meaning anyone can build and participate simply by joining the network without having to register with anyone to gain access. Transactions on public blockchains are public, meaning that they are viewable and verifiable by anyone. This transparency is a key factor in building trust in blockchain. Public blockchains are typically secured through robust consensus mechanisms such as proof of work or delegated proof of stake, making them resistant to censorship and tampering. When people talk about blockchains, they're usually referring to public blockchains like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Private blockchains are permissioned, distributed ledgers controlled by a single entity or organization. The three key features of private blockchains are that they are permissioned, private and centralized. With a private blockchain, access and participation are controlled. Users are often known and verified entities. Transactions on private blockchains are not visible to the public, making them more suited to enterprise applications. Compared to their public counterparts, private blockchains are centralized compared and they are often operated by a single entity, such as a corporation. Both hybrid and consortium blockchains blend elements of both public and private blockchain. The four key distinguishing features of hybrid consortium blockchains are that they are customizable, semi-permissioned, collaborative, and highly scalable. Hybrid blockchains are highly customizable, allowing organizations to build the network for specific needs or use cases. Only a predefined group of known participants can operate and secure the network. Consortium blockchains are often used for collaborative efforts among organizations or industries where trust and verification among consortium members is paramount. Consortium chains can offer scalability benefits over fully public networks while still maintaining some level of decentralization. Hyperledger Fabric is a blockchain framework that allows interested parties to create distributed ledger projects for internal use. Here you can see a Venn diagram to help you make sense of the similarities and difference, differences between public, private, consortium and hybrid blockchain. In conclusion, whether you're talking about public, private or hybrid consortium blockchains, each approach has distinct advantages and disadvantages that help drive its ideal use case. To continue learning, stay tuned for next video and don't forget to subscribe our channels.